Hello, film fanatics. Hi, nice to meet you. If you're new here, the name's Colette Cherry. Welcome to my channel where we analyze and dissect movies. We're gonna finally jump into the John Wick films. I'm so fascinated by John Wick because there are four. Who makes four films with the same character? That's so unheard of other than Harry Potter, you know? Harry Potter has seven, but there's no other franchise that I know of that has more than three. So obviously, these movies are good and there's a huge fan base or they wouldn't keep making them, right? I love action films and I know this is gonna be probably gory, a little bit of violent, but I think this is gonna be more than just a typical gun, violent, action-y movie. I think we're gonna have some layers to this, some depth, some emotional depth from Keanu Reeves. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> there has to be, right? Because you know, I like some romance in my films, I like some love, and I feel like this is gonna bring it. We're gonna look at the camera angles, we're gonna talk about the lighting, the filter, the surroundings, the set, the props, the acting performances. After watching the Deadpool movies, my mind has opened up. I'm not quite desensitized to gore, but I'm more open to it. And I felt like, what's a better movie to jump right into after watching Deadpool? John Wick. Seems pretty gory. It's rated R. It's gonna make me squirm a little bit, but I'm gonna look at this movie from an artistic standpoint. Not just the plot, but the substance. If you wanna watch movies fully uncut, guess where to go? They're on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Colette Cherry. Everything goes there early and uncut. I love you guys. Mwah. Let's watch John Wick. I see that the director is Chad Stahelski and he did The Hunger Games and V for Vendetta and I love those films. So he definitely knows how to do suspense, drama, intense films really well. So I'm excited to see what he does for John Wick. New Yorkers, a season high seven inches of rain last night. High winds and Oh, seven inches of rain. Okay, we're in New York. Oh, they're definitely gonna use a lot of rain in this film, aren't they? That's what they're gonna, it's gonna be a dark, grim backdrop. Oh! Kind of like Batman and Gotham City, the dark. There's gonna be a lot of nighttime. I highly doubt there's any daytime scenes in this movie. I'm calling it now. Ooh. He's bleeding out. He's got shot or stabbed. Pulling out the cell phone. What is this, a video? There's, there's his loved one, his wife. Come here. Okay, so somebody killed his wife. That sets the tone for the whole film. He's looking at a video of his wife. He's passing out. He's been attacked. He's probably killed a lot of people too. I don't know what... If this, that was in the future, I think. I think now we may be gone back in time. That's his wife. He's got a wedding ring on, so they're still together. I like that glitch that we saw a flashback. I like how they're doing that. She just fainted. She got sick. She died. So nobody killed her, but she got sick. Interesting. That monitor beeping is really sad. And that's what we're hearing. Oh, there it is. The EKG beeping in the backdrop. It's like creeping up on us. It's the last seconds before she dies, you know, it's that sound. I didn't know what that was. I was like, is that an alarm? What is that sound? Yeah, the use of sound is really important. It's an anniversary. It's almost like an ASMR feel to the beginning of the movie. Like very calm, very calm. It's sad what's going on, but. It's not overly dramatic, it's, it's very calm and grim. Somebody's watching in the distance. Rain's gonna be a big element in this 
film. And they love to use sound. I mean, it adds so much texture when you're watching a movie. You don't even realize. But without that texture, oh, wow. it'd be so dull. My condolence. <gasps> William Defoe. I keep asking why her. There's no rhyme or reason to this life. It's days like today scattered mm. among the rest. There's no answer to it, something like that, when someone's mourning a loss. Like, why her? You just, there's no response. The answer is, we don't know. What do you really do on here, Marcus? Just checking up on an old friend. Old friend. They go back. It's pretty grim filtering. Here we have a little bit warmer yellow tone, but so far it's pretty dark. John Wick? Yes. Sign here, please. I'm calling it. There's gonna be no sun in this movie. No sunshine. Maybe, maybe at the end, but not for a long time. And the pen? Sorry. Here you go. Good night. And the pen? That's a weird comment. Oh! Somebody's in there. John, I'm sorry I can't be there for you. But you still need something, someone to love. Mm, so she got him a pet. This illness has loomed over us for a long time. And now that I have found my peace, find yours. Oh, the puppy is so cute. <laughs> so she got him a puppy so he could fill the void in his heart. That's sad. I feel that though. Sometimes you just need something to love. It's true. Dogs are so amazing. I have two. I love them so much. Daisy, what a happy name. Oh my gosh, speaking of dogs, do you hear what's at my door? It looks like my dogs want to come in. You want to come in here, Mochi? Say hi, child. This is Mochi Boo. Mochi Boo. Momo. Hi, baby. You're so cute. I love you. Thanks for coming. That's funny that she came to... Scratch on my door right when the puppy part came up. And then this is Evie. You're very cute. You're very cute. Okay, let's get back to the movie. I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> that is the best wake up though, to a puppy licking your face. Like, you want to feel sad. Good, good luck feeling sad with that wake up. You're just like, oh. It's gotta go out. It's like, good morning. Hey. Oh. All right. Did he forget that it has to go to the bathroom? <laughs> he forgot. Yeah. First time dog owner, it's okay. I love how like they sh took the time to show us that the dog took a dump. Like, thank right. you. Thank you for showing us that. And how it's like a perfect little swirl. Like that's like, movie poop, right? They just got like some kind of chocolate and they squeezed it out and they went like this. <laughs> Never have I ever seen my dog's poop look like that. <laughs> it's movie poop. It's really dark in his home. There's not much light. Later. Even though it's during the day, you don't even see like the sun coming in. It's just very dull. I like how he's talking to it like it's a person. It's so relatable because we all do that, don't we? We say, we were talking to it and having a conversation with our dog. I'll get you some kibble later. Like, we all do that. It's already warming up his heart. New Jersey. Look, I'm not a car person, but I can tell it's a nice car. I can tell it's a classic. I don't know much, but that's, that's one that you'd see in like a car show. For sure. Like, checklist to make a sick action movie. Sweet cars, sweet guns. Big boobs. <laughs> uh oh. These guys are not good guys. You see his cats on Mustang. his finger. Boss four twenty nine. Boss four twenty nine. How much? Excuse me. How much for the car? Uh, She's not for sale. Who talks like that when you're getting gas? Leave the man alone. 
Oh, he didn't like that he spoke Russian back to him. Uh oh. Rule number one, don't engage with people at gas stations ever. <laughs> Get out of there. I hate how the guy like stuck his hand in and pet his dog too. Oh, he just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, he's having fun, fun. So is this where he gets to test his car out and train? Like, that's how he relieves stress. All right, come on then. <laughs> He's like, just come up. I give, I give up. You need to go. Uh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, why is happening? Oh no! <laughs> the guys from the gas station. Those mother truckers, they followed him home. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh! Sorry, ow, ow. You know that that freaking hurts. Oh no, 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 Puggy, stay back, stay back. Stop! 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 <laughs> what is wrong with you? What the freak, who kicks a dog like that? People are uh -huh. so... Uh, the dog just became non-responsive. Mm -hmm. I'm stressed. Speech <gasps> book. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, the puppy is dead. And it crawled to him. Why are they doing this to us? It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. I love my doggies. Oh, are you kidding me? First his wife, now he's burying his dog. Then the first, like, how many minutes of this freaking film? 15 minutes he loses his wife and his puppy. <laughs> like... Dang, okay. So he's had a lot of grief. That is so sad, the way the puppy crawled to him. Like it's little blood spots. I like that it wanted to get to him before it like died. They had what, one day together? I'm not okay. My dog is not okay either because she's barking. Oh, this is already a really terrible movie. <laughs> when I say something's terrible, it means I'm sad. That's what it is. And now he has to clean his dead puppy's blood. Oh, stop! Don't show us! Whatever John Wick has to do to get revenge, I'm on his team. It feels like he was almost in a settled down life, like in his home with his wife, out of the city, in the suburbs, and he was probably trying to get out of whatever this mess is, and he's getting sucked back in. That's what it feels like. By these mother truckers. Yo, and now they're bringing his car to a shop. Uh -huh. The audacity. I want a new VIN number and some clean papers. You killed the man's puppy. Where'd you get that car? Oh, he knows that car. And they bash his other car. I don't think they know who they're messing with. John Wick is not your average dude. He's got four movies, okay? <laughs> he is somebody that you don't want to mess with. Oh, poor John. Is it here? Pouring him a drink. It was. I asked you, where the hell did you get it? Who gives uh -oh. a shit? Joseph Tarasov nicked it. This guy, he's from Game of Thrones. Yeah, he's the one who got castrated. Not castrated, but like literally he became a eunuch. That was, that was one heck of a show. Who gives a shit? Joseph Tarasov nicked it. Vigos. Joseph Tarasov. 
Vega, the Russian mafia. The way that Russians are portrayed in movies makes me so scared to ever go to Russia. <laughs> like the way they're presented in American Western culture is like, I'm terrified of Russians. <laughs> this is movies, not how I'm being. All right, get out of here. Just get out of my shop. Get out right now. You just lose your shit, Aurelio, because we own you. Oh, really? The owner of the car, you, did you kill him or what? No. He sure himself f***ed up his dog. <laughs> f***ed up his dog. Is that funny? Kick him in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you. Who laughs when they say we f***ed up his dog? It's great. You're gonna come into my shop and you're gonna pull a gun on me. Ah, it's great, man. <laughs> oh, he's like, I'm crazier. Out of my shop. Vigo is not gonna like this. Vigo. I'll tell you something, he's gonna understand. So Vigo is the one in charge. These are just the punks that work under him. Guess we'll be taking our business someplace else. It seems like with this gang, they don't just like kill out of the ordinary. They, they have a system, which I think when he like put the gun to his head and then the guy like took it off, you know, it says something about like, he's not just, they're not just there to kill. So what they did with John Wick is like, against the policy and the dad is probably gonna be pissed. I really speaking. Hmm. I heard you struck my son. Yeah, he deserved it. Yeah, well, because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. Oh. Ooh, he looks worried about that. Like, oh, oh. That's justification for punching my son. Uh, what? You know, there's this system here that, and they went out of that system. Even the mafia has rules. Congratulations. Sir. He's so bummed about the John Wick thing. He's like, we need to talk because we are in trouble. I feel like he realizes that this is a huge error. I think he's gonna get smacked. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Bri -bri. Bri -bri. You mean Aurelio's? So I stole the f car! Viggo? Right, you stay! Oh god. <clears throat> Not just a car, John Wick's car. That's the problem that Vigo has. It's who you did it to. Who? The f nobody? The f nobody is John Wick. The name means something. He's either been associated with this underground world before, working on their team, another team, but he's he was in this world with them because his name means he something. He was an associate to ours. There it is. We called him. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Boogeyman? Well, John wasn't exactly the boogeyman. Oh, John's gonna get some old stuff dug up. He was some the old one weapons. Who to kill the fucking boogeyman. Oh. Oh. John oh. is a man of focus. Oh, his mood switched. She will. Something you know very little. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a pencil. Oh, I want to see that pencil scene. Pencil. <laughs> Is that why he collects pens? Because remember in the beginning, it was so weird that that woman, they made a point for her to say, and the pen. And he was like, oh, when he got the puppy delivered. I can't wait to see what John's digging up. Suddenly one day, he asked to leave. It's over a woman, of course. Ah, oh, he has to get out of this gang. I gave him an impossible task. A job no one could have pulled off. But he pulled it off. The bodies he buried that day laid a foundation of what we are now. Wow. A few days after his wife died, you steal his car. And kill his puppy. And kill his dog. Father, I can make this right. No, you can't. It's already done. John will come for you. 
He's going to kill him. You would do nothing because you can do nothing. So get the f out of my sight. <laughs> Dang. That's how he says goodbye to his son who he knows is going to get killed. There's no love in this family. What is he pulling out? A phone book? <laughs> I like how he pulled out a phone book. And now he's calling John on his telephone. Let us not resort to our baser instincts and handle this like civilized men to move on. Oh, it's over. He had to hang up. Means it's been decided he's going to kill you, every single one of you. What did he say? Enough. <laughs> You're all dead. Tasker crew. <laughs> How many? How many do you have? Oh, Fortis, Fortina, I don't know what that says, it's some language. All he can do is just drink and enjoy his last hours of life. I wonder if he'll kill Vigo though, because Vigo's not responsible, but... He's definitely gonna kill the son and all those guys who came to his house. I like the use of like the heavy music, the deep be beats. Is the son really coming here to try to kill him? This is so funny. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, it turns into like heavy metal dubstep every time it gets really intense. I love it. And then it stops on his last bullet. It's like it goes to the beat of his shooting. Oh. And now the beat's back. I guarantee you, every scene we see will be in this lighting, in this dim lit atmosphere. Nighttime is one with John Wick. Oh. Oh, last man standing. Oh, oh, oh. And stab. And stab. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. Right. Oh! Ah! Ah! At least it was quick. Oh, seriously, somebody's ringing the door right now. The police? Let me guess. Noise complaint. It's just a party, sir. Evening, John. <laughs> Evening, Jimmy. This guy wouldn't stand a chance with these other guys. Noise complaint. Oh, they know each other. You uh, working again? No, I'm just oh. sorting some stuff out. So the cops? No, John. I'll leave you be then. Good night, John. Good night, Jimmy. You notice the cops and the people in charge seem to have an understanding with this world. Like they just acknowledge that it exists. They keep their hands out of it. They are separate. They do not intertwine as long as they are not bothered. They let it happen. This cop is just like, you working again? So they have an understanding, like, this is what I do. You don't mess with me, I don't mess with you, and we stay separate. It's like the underground world and then the world. The underground world like has its own system, its own rules, run by different people than the outside world. But he tried to dabble in the normal world for a bit with his wife, and it didn't last long. And now he's almost being sucked back into this dark underworld. Poor guy. Yes, John Wick, that's right. I'd like to make a dinner reservation for 12. Oh. He's counting some gold coins. Who are you inviting to dinner, John? This is his area that he has like the phone and the weapons and this is the gold and um, it's some kind of currency they're using that he needed to get access to. 12, I wonder if that's code for something. Good to see you, John. Charlie. All oh, these people keep showing up. Oh, that's his buddy that he called. Oh, that's code for 
cleanup crew. You look good. Waste disposal. You left all this behind. He wanted to leave it behind. Oh, this is one job that I I don't wish upon my worst enemy. Like, I want to watch a Vice episode on YouTube about someone who has this job to clean up like dead bodies, and it was pretty gruesome the way he was describing it. it just sounds awful. Will I be hearing from you anytime soon? <laughs> Hopefully not. Goodbye, Charlie. Yeah. So the payment is not in bills, but it's in these coins. Put a contract on John Wick. How much? Two million. John Wick is worth two million. Put yourself in the red circle and wait. What's the red circle? For what? For John Wick, of course. Hmm. He knows his son's destiny. His son chose his own destiny, though. He chose death the moment he messed with John Wick. I feel like the underground system is pretty advanced. Like, it's not just a bunch of bloodthirsty criminals going after each other. It actually seems pretty uh, well run, if that makes sense. Like, they have a system. They have a payment system. They have phone lines that are separate. They have a, a way to clean bodies. Like, it's a whole ecosystem that works separate from the real world. And I, I like that aspect. I want to offer you this face-to-face. Seeing as how you might find it personal. Mm. He was at the funeral for John Wick's wife. Would you kill John Wick for two million dollars? <sighs> no. Is the contract exclusive? No, it's open. It's a time limit. It has to be handled quickly. Consider it done. I hope not. I hope he's not going to turn on John like that. It's sad if he is. No, Afra. Here for operation. Yeah, no, he wouldn't do it. He's probably gonna call John and give him a heads up. Like, you got a big, big ticket on your head. Oh, look at that baby. I like this soundtrack. It fits perfectly. He looks good with his hair slicked back. Ooh. He's lurking close by. I guarantee you he's going to be set up to take out whoever is trying to snipe John Wick, but he's not going to take him out. He's not interested in that. It's his bestie. Or his old friend, he called him. Good seeing you again, John. Perkins. Oh, they know each other. I have you for two nights. She's definitely going to come back and kill him. <laughs> or try to kill him. Do you see the look in her eyes? He's like, you look like $2 million, daddy. Daddy. I have you for two nights. Depending on business, it may be more. Of course, sir. This is the hotel that they all use, huh? Around four years ago. But I assure you, sir, she really hasn't changed much. Same owner. Same owner. So he's been out of the game for four years. The coins, the payment. That's how you Who know he's dealing it? with the underground world when he pays with that. It is a pleasure having you with us again, Mr. Wick. Is this supposed to be a hotel where they like protect them? So you go when you're in hiding here. I love the music. And he used the coin again to get... I love this payment system. Cause there's a club, an underground club. Oh man, I, I've always wanted to go to one of these things, but not really cause like it's illegal, but you know. <laughs> Just to see what it's like. I'm a pretty risk-free person though, so I don't think I would do well here. Yeah, she's she wants that two mil. This is where you have business meetings in the underground world. Jonathan. Now as I recall, weren't you the one tasked to dole out the beatings, not receive them? He does look beat up. Yosef Terosov. Mm. What about him? I'd like to talk with him. Oh, to talk. <laughs> I mean, chewed down to the bone. You got out once. He doesn't have a choice. You may well find something reaches out and drags mm. you back into its depths. Oh, that's Where scary. Where do I find him? 
<laughs> John doesn't care. He's not looking at 10 years from now, 20 years from now. He's like, I have this insatiable desire to kill these guys who did what they did. My wife's last present to me, they took. It's irreplaceable. He doesn't care what at what cost. Please. They keep showing her. Compliments of the house. Nice. From him. Not a drink, is it? Oh, oh, he gave him a note. That's a good guy. Yay, we got a tip of where he is. Let's go to the red circle. But we also knew that he was gonna be the red circle because remember the dad said, tell him to go to the red circle. So they're expecting John Wick to be here. Got it. There's so many men. I mean, oh no, all these poor girls. <sighs> they have no idea what's coming. John Wick's coming. Oh, he's just drinking, having fun. Sir, you're an idiot if this is where you are, knowing that John Wick is coming for you. You're just drinking, having fun. What an idiot. He just feels so protected, like so anonymous because he's always been protected by daddy's man, but. Hey, that's the other guy. Right there. Oh, That's the one who kicked the dog, I think, I think. You scared of the boogeyman? Yeah, you I'm should not. be. No. But you should be. His brother knows it's not time to party and have fun. Hello, Francis. Mr. Vig. The tip of who deal? Dwatset kilogram. A sixty pounds? Are you here on business, sir? Afraid so, Francis. Why don't you take the night off? Oh, he's letting him go. He cares about Francis. So he doesn't have to kill him. I like John Wick more and more. He's really growing on me. Like, he's got a good heart, you know? He wanted to get out of this life, but it came back on him. He doesn't want to be doing this, but he has, feels like he has no choice. He's got to stop this guy before the guy goes around and kills more people's He's like, he has some sweetness to him, though. He's experiencing Francis' life. He's more layered than just your typical guy. The problem with action movies is that they don't do this layering, you know, if they don't give depth to the, the main guy, it can be like, eh, it's just another action movie, but I like to see the layers being peeled back, and John is, he's got a sens sensitive side. Oh, oh, that was efficient. That was weak. That was pathetic. Yeah, he's the one who did it. Shh. Goodbye. Oh, this is about to be a sick fight in the bathhouse. I love it. I love the lighting. I like the red. It's sexy. The shadows are cool. Everything's color graded to perfection. Like the red blood, the blood on their faces, the red lights. It's really pretty. I like the song. Does it feel good, John, to get revenge? Oh. So much for being quiet. Yeah, you hear a little noise? Maybe it's time to get out? Yeah? Yeah? John's here. How does it feel? Oh. Why did he choose not to kill him in that instant? The poor girls. Oh, he just pushed that girl. He had an instant where he could have shot him and he... he Took a second and didn't. Does he want to do it in a specific way? Like he does actually want to like talk to him, not just shoot him from a distance? Oh, not in the club. This is sick. And nobody's even going to notice, I guarantee you. Like, oh, the dubstep. The use of music is really cool in these fight scenes. 
People are just so oblivious. How many bodies is he taking out right now? Oh, his gun has to be reloaded so quickly. Okay, now everybody's figured it out. There's mass murder going on in the club. Come on, come on. This wussy's getting away. This is so upsetting. Oh, he's been hit. This must have been a really fun day on set, like all the background there. It gives so much atmosphere because, you know, it helps them get into character on set when there is a whole world there. When it's just you and a green screen, you have to use your imagination completely. But like a scene like this where they're running through the club and there's so many people, there's people on the floor, people running by them, it creates this intensity that you feel through the screen, which is what we want to feel like, holy crap, this is chaotic. I did a couple background jobs uh, last year when I first started. I wanted to see what it was like and I did I did two big movies as the background. It was fun. We did a club scene. We did some hectic scenes and... That guy should be so scared. Now he sees John as actually a threat. Victor's dead. Everything's got a price. Yes, what a good line to say back. And I love that he just speaks Russian when he wants. So what sort of movement am I looking at? Well, if you're looking to heal, <laughs> this doctor. keep it marginal. Oh yeah, sure that's gonna happen. Take two of these beforehand. Your stitches will tear and you'll bleed, but you'll have full function. Dang. Do you need anything for the pain? No, I've got that covered. Alcohol. I would not want to be anything but sober, though. Mm -mm. No alcohol for me. But it probably helps the pain a lot, and that's more distracting than being a little tipsy. This guy is not going to snipe him at all. He's going to protect John for any sniper that does come in. I guarantee you. It's not, what you, not, it's not what it looks like. They're setting it up for someone to come in. Oh, shit. Here comes somebody while he's trying to sleep. That was to wake him up, to warn him. Heck yeah. Oh, he's such a good guy. I love it. He's his buddy. I thought I'd let myself in. Oh, uh, yeah? I knew she was. I knew she was bad the way she was looking at him. She was looking at him like, just money in the bank. Oh, uh, you biatch. I never knew Miss Perkins got out of bed for less than three. Vigo's giving me four to break hotel rules. <gasps> four? Oh, man. And she's breaking the rules. Dang, that's dirty, girl. Oh, I hope, I hope he gets it to her. Oh! The way she's kicking him and hurting him after he's gone through what he's been through, like how painful. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, what's the sheet for? Yes, cover her vision, that's right. Oh. We have received a number of grievances. Yeah, from, from there's a reason. The noise. Yeah, there's a reason. This little biatch is crawling back in. I was dealing with an uninvited guest. How do you need little say? A dinner reservation. Yeah. Perhaps. perhaps a dinner reservation, which means cleanup crew. I don't think he's gonna kill her though, because she's a woman. I don't know. Maybe he will. She deserves it. Little Russia. There's a church. <gasps> you can't accord. What about oh, it? It's a front. Where Vigo keeps his private stash. Oh, that's good info. She, he can burn him by taking the money. Oh, he didn't kill her. Do I know you? <laughs> Who's that? You keen on earning a coin? Baby sitting asleep in one. Catch and release. Catch and release. The sleeping one. <laughs> I bet so many churches, unfortunately, are fronts for this kind of bad, 
crew, like so much illegal activities going on in places that you would least suspect it. So sad. My son, how might they help? Oh, oh, no way, no way to just shoot the priest. Oh, that is something else. Dude, you're a fake priest. And you're gonna show me the stash. Let's go to the vault. <laughs> I think like we purposely shot him in the knee so he he could take him to the vault. Ladies, Ellen. They're just sitting there. Oh, not a good job to have. Find a better job, girls. Honestly, what do you think you're going to do with all of that? This. Burn it down. Not the money. He really doesn't care if he's like burning down loads and loads of cash. Like John Wick don't care about anything in this life. Uh, he had what he wanted and he lost it. What's money mean to him? Proves a lot about his character. All he seeks is revenge. Treat all your ladies like this? You are no lady. <laughs> Trust me. Ah, nope. Oh, she just broke her finger her, to get out of it? Oh! Don't kill him. Poor Harry. Oh. Oh, John! Oh my god, it's just that's so sad. How is he gonna get up from this? Where's William Defoe and his sniper abilities when we need him? Yeah, while well, you had your wife, I had my son. Mm. And believe me, you had a far better deal. <laughs> he sh talks crap on his son so much. And then you left. And the way you got out, lying to yourself. That the past held no sway over the future. Is he alluding to this system? Like, because he got out of the system, it cursed him and his life. Like, because he tried to leave, which he was able to leave, but it didn't come without a price. It seems like that's what he's hinting at. Vigo. A lot of us are rewarded for our Yeah, misdeeds, that's what he's saying, that it was... Which is why God mm. took your wife. And he's saying that it was justice, like because he left, he got cursed. And same with him. This life follows you. Yeah. And this is his justice, is John coming for him. Baba Yaga. It was just a car, just a dog. Just a dog. Vigo dug his own grave right there. That was the line where he said, It's just an effing dog. I think. John Wick was going to swear Vigo in the end because he wasn't directly related. But that line right there, dismissing his care for his beloved puppy in that sentence is just a dog. When Ellen died, I lost everything until that dog arrived on my doorstep. I know. A little gift for my wife. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope, an opportunity to grieve on the law. Oh, grieve on alone. That's so sad. People keep asking if oh. I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Yeah! Wow. I haven't seen him this emotional yet. Or you can die screaming alongside him! Hey, got out what he needed to say. He told him. He told him. He gave him, a, him an option. Now, you know... And I'm not going to feel bad when he kills him. Oh, there's our sniper, Defoe. Frick, yeah. I knew he wasn't far away. That's what I was saying. I was like, we need him for this. He's waiting for the right moment. I feel like he, like, lets John get as far as he can on his own. And then he just aids him a little bit. Like, he just gets him there. Right at the last second. He's like, oh, he's being strangled. He has, like, 20 seconds. Okay, I'll, I'll step in. But he lets John do a lot of it. Like, he didn't under interrupt when Vigo was in the room. Go, 
Goodbye, buddy. Now look, he's being strangled. Look now. <laughs> he's proud of himself. He's got a guardian angel, doesn't he? I'm glad that there's some people in this movie who are rooting for John to get his revenge for his dead puppy. Like, I love that. There's some good in this underworld. Like, not all of them are crooks. There's good guys. Yeah, they exist. Cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. John! Oh. This is your chance. Hey, where is he? Give him up! Shit! <laughs> Like how he just screamed that. Also, that scene where he was screaming at Vigo, like, give me your son or I'll take you out. He that's the most emotional I've ever seen Counter Reeves act like that anger. I haven't seen him do that at all in this movie up until that point. So I just want to note that acting performance. I really felt his pain when he was like screaming at Vigo. Back. So you can either Here. hand over your yeah. son or you can die screaming alongside him. Yeah, that's the most emotional he's been. I have your word then if I tell you where he is. You let me walk away. Pull the contract. Pull it. It's kept in a safe house, Brooklyn, 434, Wallace Place. He just gave his son away. They know you're coming. Of course. But it won't matter. He sticks to his word, he didn't kill Vigo. I still don't think Vigo's making it out alive. Like, he's he's gonna do too much. He's smoking pot, getting high. Like, this guy's such a wussy. Like, he's not even on his A game. He's just surrounded by people who are gonna protect him. Like, I can't stand the sun. Sweet. The dad's gonna get high too, knowing his son's about to be killed. Dang, Vigo, he's losing his son. I'm sure he's sad, but he knows that, Vigo knows that Yosef did it to himself. Like, at some point, you just go own it. He tried his best to protect his son, but it's, it's done. He tried. I love this movie. <laughs> as he's playing the video game shooting, you're about to get shot out just like that. <gasps> oh, I called that! I called that! Right through the head! Get down, get down! They're all getting taken out. Oh, Vigo's losing his son. That's sad for Vigo. I don't mind Vigo as a character. Oh, and he blew up all their cars. Oh, the getaway car, so he can't get away even if he tried. Ah, I love that. Oh, he's prepared. Oh, it's just him now running like a little wussy that he is. Oh, he's gonna say some words to you. It's not gonna be quickly done. He's gonna have to give a little monologue. Maybe, maybe not. I like this, the sound of the footsteps approaching the mm, mm. <gasps> Oh, he didn't even say anything to him. I, that, I was wrong there. John, he was like, I don't need to say anything to you. Goodbye, cold-blooded. He's emotionally spent, he's tired. He's been at this for days, like. How many times do I have to save your ass? I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Of course, say so you look terrible. No, I look retired. <laughs> I hope he stays retired, but we there's three other films, so it's unlikely. Oh no, not Perkins. She wants that four mil. I thought Vigo pulled the contract. It's time to go home. There's no going home, John Wick, and you know it. Mark Vigo's not dumb. <sighs> Don't kill Marcus. No. I always liked you, Marcus. The last of the whole. <gasps> no, 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 no. No! Oh. 
Frick you, man. Now I now I hate Vigo. I changed my mind. John Wick's gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah, no. Yep, okay. I see I thought for a second Vigo I was okay with him. No. You screwed up, man. Just keep digging that grave. Yeah. Fuel the chopper. <laughs> He thinks he's gonna get away. Oh, there's gonna be a chopper involved. It's gonna be epic. Screw that. I didn't like that they had to kill Marcus. That's that's a bummer. I, I really want him to make it to John Wick too. But he went out on his own terms, which is baller. Respect. Miss you. Buckets, I apologize for calling you after this hour. Look, that chick is bad, and I can't stand her. But she's beautiful. Those eyes. She always wears all black, too, head to toe. Your membership to the Continental has been by thine own hand. Revoked. Revoked. They're gonna kill her. She thought she could get away with breaking the rules. You don't mess with that guy. I like that guy. I hope we keep seeing him. Oh, here's the cleanup guy. Why, why is it that these cleanup guys are now comforting, like? Man, how messed up is that? Do we find comfort in that old man taking his little hat off? That's <laughs> why I'm not the one telling you that a certain helicopter to a certain helipad is being fueled for a certain someone. I love this guy. I love that he's helping him. He's, he's, he's cool. He's taking Marcus's position as the guardian angel. Have you got my cigarettes? Yeah, I got your cigarettes. Oh, it's gonna storm, it's gonna rain for this fight, isn't it? Of course. It only makes the fighting cooler. It's a much harder scene to shoot though when everything is wet and you gotta keep the equipment dry and holy moly is it hard, but it looks so sick on film. Like, you just want there to be rain. It adds that texture, you need it. Otherwise these scenes can get so redundant. Like how many action scenes can you watch in a movie, but Adding just a little bit of rain, a little bit of extra. And using the surroundings to change it up helps a ton. Nice. Shot him through the roof of the car. English, please. Good luck. Good luck. Russian. Oh. Ah, That's how he really feels, okay. Dude, it's not gonna last. Give him 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Wait, no way. Was that actually 10 seconds? That's great. No more bullets. No more bullets. They're going to have a fist fight to end it all? I like that. Let's go back to primal, primal way of fighting. What happened, John? We were professionals, civilized. No. I would civilize you. You're never civilized. I don't think so. I love the rain too. It's coming down so hard. Isn't that cheating that he brought out a knife? Like I thought we were, I thought we were gonna just punch it out. That's that's unfair. He stabbed himself. Now he has the knife, that's why. Yeah, that was smart. Well, we know that this scene is 80 yard. We know that their mics are not on them for this. Vigo had that one coming. I don't even feel bad for him, not even a little. I'm happy for you, John. Now he's just gonna fade to black. And camera angle goes, and he walks out of frame. Good way to end it. Yeah, now we're back here, to the beginning of the movie.
He's going to stitch himself up. Please tell me he takes one of these dogs, too. What, did he just stumble into, like, a the SBCA a dog pound? What does that thing do? Oh, those are stitches that staple you? Oh. That's the one. That's the dog he's going to take home, the one whining. It's okay. Let's I love go. this tent, this like greenish gray tent. And now we're back out with the new puppy. Oh, it's cute. I love when dogs shake like that. Directed by Chad Stahelski. I he did a great job. I love his films. He's really good at these kind of like revenge, like intense films. I'm glad he has a new puppy and I hope we see more of it. I'm sad for the uh, Daisy though. I wonder what this puff is gonna be called. Like another flower name, hopefully. That surprised me, I admit. It was really good. I am blown away at how much I loved that. Uh, great directing, great acting. I mean, I love that movie. I was really surprised. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. It was super entertaining. It was the right length, not too long, and the right amount of fight scenes, like not over the top, but like enough to make you feel, wow, this is a real action film. But it had emotional complexity, him losing his wife and his puppy so sad, and it was deep. I really like movies like that. It gives us a little bit of everything. We're gonna see him get his car back in the next film, I'm sure. I can't wait to watch John Wick 2. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here. Mwah. Love you guys, I'll see you in the next film.